this is our tutorial dudes and today I'm going to talk about the new iPhone 5 and the iPod Touch 5 fifth generation that are um, should be coming out uh, the release time is approximately October 3rd um, they may surprise us and release it in July but um, the best guess is around early October for the release date on the new um, iPhones and iPod touches um, I'll first I'll go over the iPod touch because um, the updates are so um this is kind of what a, uh, the iPod touch and this isn't a very good um, image because it doesn't compare it to the normal size but right now the iPod touch is, uh, has about a 3.5 inch display and they're going to likely ramp it up to a 4.1 inch display which is um, in order to compete with the Android phones and devices that they have out there it's a I think it's a great addition that they made a bigger screen and it'll be um, they're supposedly going to retrofit the aspect ratio to a 19 to a uh, sorry a 16.9, which is the same as a widescreen TV or um, yeah widescreen TV or widescreen computer monitors. Um, so th that'll be nice to have. Um, like all my all my YouTube videos are in, in a 19.6 ratio. So if you watch them on the new iPhone, it'll fit perfectly in there and it won't have any black edges or anything. So um, that's kind of a nice. Um, the, so they'll mess with the resolution to make it a 19.6 resolution, um, and obviously the bigger screen will be nice. They're also going to change the home button. Um, here, the home button, they're going to change the the flex cables, so they won't. So I mean, a lot of the home buttons break after a while. I mean, lots of people have problems with it. I mean, on my second gen, it's never broken, but a lot of fourth gens are having issues with home buttons. Um, but and the cameras are also going to be a huge difference. Um, there's rumors out there that. That you'll that you'll be able to actually replace the camera lenses, um, because you but m that's really rare considering how Apple likes to keep everything just their stuff, but I mean that's a possibility. But this is just a this is a show of the camera. It'll be about the same camera, but um, it'll be fit for the nineteen or the sorry I keep saying that wrong the sixteen nine ratio. Um, that that's pretty much all there is for the um the iPod Touch fifth generation. Um, and now for the iPhone, it it should have about a four inch, so it'll be a little bit smaller than the iPhone or than the iPod Touch, but um, it'll have the same button, it'll have the same camera. Um, this is what the case will look like. It'll be more of a metallic thing, which um should be a lot better. Um, it'll be really nice for the uh, iPhone five case. And here's a, a couple things I found. So they're gonna upgrade the RAM to about one gigabyte. Well, uh, one point uh, zero two four, whatever that is, about one gigabyte. They'll upgrade the RAM too, so that'll be nice. They'll having twice as much RAM as the iPhone 4s. I'm not sure if they'll upgrade the iPod Touch's RAM. I'm I'm just not really sure, but um, the iPod Touch will also um, it'll also they'll both have the A5x processor, so I think that that's the same one that they have in the iPad 3. Um, so it'll be a nice fast processor and uh, a gig of RAM, which will compete more with the Android phones. So you can do a lot more multitasking. See, A5X. So um, another, this is just a rumor. This is, my guess is this isn't true, but the they're saying that there might be two different iPhones released. Like one iPhone is like the more the eight gigabyte one, and there's another iPhone that's a little bit fancier. Um, I, I mean, the, usually those iPhones have different memories, but just like. One of them will actually have more stuff, like maybe a nicer camera, maybe a nicer screen or something. And then, um, but um, there'll be the three different iPod touches, just like there are, were in the fourth generation. They're, um, they also might finally change the screen from being glass to liquid metal, so it'll be a lot um, more scratch resistant. I mean, they, they've bought patents from companies that sell liquid metal. And so far, they've only used it in SIM chip ejectors, which isn't very much, so hopefully they'll... Hopefully they'll change that. And the another big feature that'll affect a lot is there'll be a new dock plug. Instead of a 30 pin dock plug like the ones you're used to, it'll be a 16 pin, so it'll be a lot smaller, and it'll let you have a lot more room to mess with stuff, or it'll have a lot more room for them to put parts inside. Because instead of being this big, it'll only just be like a little bit smaller. Another thing they're putting is they're probably gonna put the uh, the headphone jack on the bottom, like where the iPod Touch fifth gen is. That'll be a nice addition that they'll add.
So here's another picture of the of the new iPhone. This is just showing the here you can see the port for the new headphones on the back. It's a bigger screen. See this is the old one here. I believe this is the new one. That's the um for you can see it's a lot smaller of a plug, which I think it'll be nice. But then again, um your old plugs won't work on the new one. That's all that's the downside. But here you can see this lot there's a lot more room to put stuff in there. Uh, the camera. This this where they might have the camera that you can that you can change in and out. Not a hundred percent sure yet. Um the new home button. So this is just a kind of a nice a nice picture. So like I said in my uh, iOS 6 preview video, there will be um, 4G LTE support on the new iPhone as well as 3G support. So if you're still on the 3 so if you still like 3G better cuz it's cheaper, you can go ahead and use that, but it also support uh, the 4G LTE which is the LTE is the fastest type of 4G at, as of now. Um so which means it'll be able to support the Chinese market, which will definitely help them improve a lot of uh, market selling and if JP Morgan says it's gonna be good it's gonna be a huge success yeah, blah, blah. so this is basically um the new iPhone 4 so they're also gonna say it has NFC capabilities which is um which has to do with the uh, new iOS 6 feature with the passports and the gift cards. If you want to see what that is, you can watch my other video. Um, it's kind of cool. It's kind of like when you scan your credit card, the near field communications. So they can do lots of secure transfers with your phone. You can almost act it as a credit card, which is pretty nice. But then again, you got to watch out for people trying to hack it. So um, that's another thing. And I mean, all these people are saying it's going to be a huge success, which is a good sign for. Uh, there'll be lots of extra features added, like the bigger screen, more RAM, oh, LTE or 4G support. Yeah, it'll be just a, a lot better of a device. So this is all the. F you guys, can you please be quiet? I'm trying to make a video. Like screaming. So these are some some of the supports, like the. The more RAM, the gig of RAM, the 4G LTE support, that'll be nice, on um, the bigger screen. So all this stuff added on will make it a much better 5th uh, gen iPhone and iPod Touch than the last one. Um, so hoping, hopefully if you haven't bought a 4th gen yet, I would recommend just waiting it out now um, until the 5th gen arrives. I'll be, I'll be getting one and hopefully they'll have a good jailbreak for it. So um, hope you enjoyed learning about the new iPhone 5 and the iPod Touch 5.